Here we go. What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from TICGN.com. Welcome to episode 35 of the Double XP Podcast. Set fire on these bitches. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> and as you guys know, we are without my right hand one man for another show, but condolences out to her. Hopefully, we have her return here soon. But I do have my light skinned brother, his mother, Mr. Nicodemus X. Yo, what is good? It's so good to be back at it once again, like a crack at it. This is Nicodemus the King himself. Uh, shout out to Mama Cita. Shout out to all the real gamers out there. Shout out to everybody who is a fan of the Double XP podcast. You know what I'm saying? The best podcast on a Wednesday night off top. Let's get it. Yeah, buddy. Crow girl. What's yep. happening? Yo, what's going on, everybody? Y'all already know who it is. It's your favorite gamer girl, Crunker711, back at it again with the Double XP podcast. Um, got a nice little bit of topics to talk about. Um, yeah, man, let's get it. And we do have a new guest to the show tonight, but he is not unfamiliar with the Double XP podcast and his panel. If you guys have been following me on Twitter, you guys know this man came with came to us to QuakeCon 2017. He will be also be accompanying us to uh, PAX South 2018. We got my man Dallas in the building. Man, what is up? What's going down? What's happening? I don't have like a whole like swing in the morning style uh, <laughs> intro like everybody else. I'm just not there real yet, but what's happening? Fresh meat on the block. Believe me, it takes a while to get that. <laughs> and you guys will be hearing a lot more of Dallas here coming up shortly. So make sure you guys get to know my mans. Follow him on Twitter. I should be dropping a link down there in the description down below. So make sure you guys go follow Dallas on Twitter because you guys will be hearing more from him fairly soon. Wink, wink. Before mm. we get started, really quick, Nicodemus, what are you playing, my brother? Yeah, man. So um, I've been playing this little game called Peggle 2 a lot lately. Actually, yeah, I, I see you on there on your uh, trash over the planet. Don't send nobody uh, party invites. God, what? Is. Oh, man. Come on now. Come on. Peggle's like a single player game. You got to really concentrate. You know what I'm saying? It gets really like strategic. It gets hard. But uh, yeah, yeah, I've been sure. playing that. I'm serious. Okay, get on this Peggle then, fam. I'm telling you. And I, I played it on my on the Xbox, bro. That's the thing. You know, oh, oh uh, Peggle one, you play a Peggle one. Both. Oh, you play both. Oh, okay, look at you. It, it man, I'm, sense, my guy. Oh, okay, look at you. I'm impressed. But, <laughs> yeah, I've been on this thing, man, mainly. And and uh, other than that, really, I haven't played much else. I've been watching um Gotham. I just started getting into that, so I've been binge watching the shit out of that. It's pretty good, man. <laughs> so um, that's that's basically what I've been doing on this end. Okay, Crunk girl, what you playing, girl? All right, so. Um, I have been playing NBA Live 18. Um, been enjoying that. I'm doing. I got a review coming for that probably in a week. Um, not a bad game actually. It's it's not bad, and I'm 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 happy to say this. EA finally tried. <laughs> mm, they finally tried. <laughs> they finally tried. That's all I wanted was them to try. So uh, I've been playing that a lot. Um, really, really bad. like I just checked the leaderboards and I'm like actually number forty two in the country. Damn, like, in a country? Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. top one hundred. Um, okay. and I've been playing Watch Dogs too. Um, I just started that. Uh, Watch Dogs two is really good so far. Uh, about a, I got like an hour or two into that. Um, and I got a little series going with Madden, so I've been playing some Madden on my channel and stuff like that. So. A little bit of sports nice. game, a little bit of action. And I've been playing, uh, I finished, what is it? Uh, uh, Life is Strange, uh, the second chapter of Life is Strange. So, mm, how you liking it, fam? Very, yo, everything matters. I'll you say cried that. yet? You cried yet? Uh, no, not yet. You gonna cry? I know I am. I, I, <laughs> I know I am. And, and I started Until Dawn, but I didn't get too far. Okay, okay. What's up? Dallas, what you playing, my brother? For those who don't know, Dallas is uh knee deep in PlayStation Nation. Man. By the way. But uh Dallas, what you playing, my brother? Man, besides um running destiny with the lawless game. Lawless game getting yeah. Besides mm-hmm. running destiny, man. 
<laughs> um, I've been on Absolver since lunch. It's actually uh, A1. I'm real in the martial arts and stuff like that. And it, it just, you feel the strategy. You feel like you can't button mash and win. It's just, it's not going to happen in Absolver at all. Um, besides that, I've been messing with uh, Batman, the Enemy Within. I've been digging certain Telltale games. I've been in between Batman, Enemy Within, and uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones is so good as a game to me that it made me watch the show, and now I can't just I can't differentiate between the two. The Telltale is amazing, bro. That Telltale is amazing. I mean, the, the frames and stuff are horrible, and it looks like crap, but the yeah, story is. the story is amazing. And that's why you play Telltale games. It's just for those. Um, no, that ain't true now, because Wolf Among Us looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look good actually, with that story. Actually, with my Among Us was deep. Was I'll dope. give it to him on um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy looks amazing to me, but it's just not as good as, say, Batman. Like, just exactly. Batman so I want to play one episode of, of Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm like, uh, I'm going to go back to it eventually, but I'm kind of like, it's, I'm, I'm not, it hasn't really pulled me in. You're right on that. Yeah. Like, I, I have a hard time watching Gotham because of playing Batman, Enemy Within. Like, I just, it, it's basically Gotham, only he's Batman already. Like, uh-huh. why do I need to fight through the seasons? Okay, okay. And for me, I uh, I stopped playing Watch Dogs 2 because it's got boring. It's trash. Uh, um, I do. I still have Final Fantasy 15 on deck. I bought it. I haven't tried. I haven't played it yet. I did buy Final Fantasy 9 again because that, that is the best Final Fantasy 9. I mean, it's the best Final Fantasy game there is. But I am all about Destiny right now. Lawless game. That's the clan. It's actually, it's actually if, you go, if you go, look, if you go in the description, you're going to see our Patreon. Join the Patreon, number one. And the second thing you're supposed to join is the Lawless Gang. It's in the description down below. If you're on Destiny, I don't care if it's on Xbox or PlayStation or PC, join the Lawless Gang. We be running and gunning. Bam. And it's not the game. Gang, don't, gang, don't, gang, 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 don't say nothing. Hey, Nick. You I'm say not, anything, I'm hey, bro. I'm, I'm going to give you blackface, huh? I'm about to ask you a question. I'm just ask oh, what's a question. up? Like, is Lawless Gang the, the best clan at the Inner Circle? Bro, we're not going to get into this. <laughs> well, just, that's a simple we're question. Shout, shout out to the shout out to the Iron Lord. Hold on, shout out to the Iron Lords, because them boys they they tick now. They do their thing. They, they like level five. They do that thing. They do what they do. <laughs> we do something a little different at the Lawless Gang. You know what I'm saying? We, we a little different. So politically correct. You know, what they doing? They great at what they they great at what they do, and they strategically and doing this, doing they great at what they do. Mm-hmm. They're an amazing clan. Lawless <laughs> Gang is like the second clan at Tick, and we do something a little different. You know we'll look different, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but stop trying to start shit. What? I'm not. I just asked a question. You I answered it do, very well. You know, I don't give a shit. But all right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> well, yeah, man. Destiny, I'm all about destiny right now, man. So if you guys um go to the link down below, check out our Patreon. Also, check out the Lawless Gang Destiny 2 clan. So let's get started. We're gonna talk about PUBG versus Fortnite Battle Royale. We know Fortnite was this game that uh, it's, it was technically a free to play, but they charged you like forty bucks to get it. It's not. It's not. It's gonna. It's not gonna be the free to play version until next year. They charge you like forty bucks to get extra stuff. Mm-hmm. Not, not a lot of people did it, right? Not a lot of people really, really did it. But then they saw the success of PUBG, and so they made a battle royale mode. So I, I want to say it's like a hundred people could be on screen and. I see a lot of people championing this on social media. The blue hole with developers of PUBG don't seem don't seem very happy that Fortnite's come in and kind of got on their territory. As we know, PUBG is still in uh, early access. It's supposed to be coming to Xbox soon. When it comes to Xbox, it'll be in early access. Battle Roy, um, Fortnite Battle Royale is, is free right now. You pay for cosmetics, cosmetics and whatnot. But I want to ask you guys a couple of things. Number one, are we seeing well, let's 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 let's, let's, let's I'm gonna split this up. What do you guys think about the PUBG devs being salty at their pretty much their formula being stolen? I don't get why they mad. <laughs> I don't. Everybody steals from everybody. Nothing's an original. Nothing's truly original anymore. So why it should you should it should be humbling that somebody will want to take your idea. How do you think Call of Duty feels every year? Thank you. <laughs> They they take everybody's shit. <laughs> Even the stuff that we think is original is not original. You really think Mario was the first game of his kind? Mm. Every yo, I keep telling people this. 
nothing's truly original anymore. People always put their spin on something that another game has done. How many games do you think there is that has tried to outdo Grand Theft Auto? How many? A how lot. Many, exactly. Saints Row. Exactly. And when Saints Row tried to be called, uh, tried to be Grand Theft Auto, people stopped liking it because Saints Row was trying too damn hard. You can you, you can be a, you can be an originator of a game and still be the originator and still be king of it. And you you Grand Theft Auto ain't worried about Saints Row. <laughs> Call of Duty ain't worried about these other games doing and taking what they were doing because they take from games too. <laughs> also, think about this: Horizon Zero Dawn is pretty much a clusterfuck of all the games that we like put together. It's mm. It takes from so many systems of so many things, but it's a better game for it. But it's fire. <laughs> it's a better game. For it. How many people talk about um talk shit about say uh, Middle Earth? How many people talk shit about Shadow of Mordor? But how good of a game is it? Yeah, everybody says it's like it's, uh, Batman. Why? <laughs> it's, it's yo, pretty much Batman, Batman meets Assassin's Creed. Why? But I it still, does it so well, right? I it does it so well. Game, mm. Like um, the people who created Assassin's Creed were pissed because Shadow of Mordor had the same sneaking um animation. <laughs> the sneaking animation. Exactly. Not, but I didn't stop it. playing not, the Texas Creed series because of Shadow of Mordor. Though. There's nothing <laughs> they can do about it, though. Are, like, are they like the PUBG developers or whatever? Are they trying to like seek legal action behind this, or are they just They're trying yes. to? And they sound really. Stupid. There's nothing they can do about it. Like, no. it's, not, it's not copywritten. <laughs> Their style is not copywritten. It's been done. You know what I'm saying? They found great success and then they do it very, very well. But it's been done. To and me, Fortnite, Fortnite to, apparently, from what I hear, does it really well as well. So I mean, to me, PUBG is like a new version of like SOCOM. SOCOM, it, it looks yeah, literally I've like heard that a, comparison. It looks like a, a um sandbox version of SOCOM. That shit looks so boring, though. That PUBG to me, it looks boring. But so boring. You know, a lot of people are saying Fortnite kind of, kind of, kind of rolled into the next part of this. A lot of people are saying Fortnite looks funner than PUBG. And it's some people who I who I, I'm certain who haven't played it. It looks funner than PUBG uh than PUBG. And I've also seen a lot of people say that you're getting a lot of hype from the PlayStation community because they're salty that PUBG may or may not be coming to PS4. They think it's any validity to that. That's why it's getting so much hype. That's what it is. I think some people generally may like it because I've heard other. I know some people who uh who have PlayStations who actually like Fortnite. I know there's people on my friends list. I mean my my friends list who actually do play Fortnite who actually like the game. People weren't playing Fortnite or talking about it before this battle royale. Nobody exactly. at all. Mm-hmm. At all. No, I, I ain't saying talking about it as oh my god, Fortnite is so dope. But I've seen people playing it. But in our community on the crumb side, you know why we're talking about it. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real on the crumb side of game um gaming community. We know why they're talking about it. But I'm saying in real life on my friends list, I do know people who actually have been playing it. Okay, so so you don't think this none of the hype has to do with, with the saltiness of there may or may not be a PUBG on PS4. Oh, I'm pretty sure, sure. definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I do think though it it generally generally is like fun though. I, I see a lot of people who aren't you know fanboys and stuff like that really having a good time with it, talking about it on Twitter and stuff. So, um, no, apparently it's fun. I mean, apparently they do a good job with it and stuff so PUBG, they just gonna suck this up man it's not like you know freaking fortnite is going to overthrow PUBG by any means or any stretch of the imagination you i want to say they they right. put on twitter they had like a million people down a million downloads already who fortnite fortnite yeah mm. i think it's just a ridiculous thing to be salty about like it's like a rapper being salty because every other rapper's got dreads what they got to do with anything mm. Yo, that's just like a rapper mad that you took their flow. Shit, don't don't get mad at me because I took your flow and did it better. Drake do it all. If I'm speeding. Yeah, uh, Drake yep. does it all. The time. <laughs> he won't take your I flow see, and make it better. I see some people calling it fraud G instead of PUBG. They call it fraud. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like like Chris Cobra said in the chat, man, they should be flattered. 
if the, if somebody is taking something from you, that must mean you're doing it right. The only reason why yeah. I can see they they are like angry about this or want to seek legal action is that they see Fortnite as a threat. That's a sign of weakness. Get over it. Just do your own thing. Fix fix that damn game for one thing. I I heard you know PUBG it, it's got a lot of work still needs to be done. You know what I'm saying? Isn't it still in early access at that? It is. Yeah. May all, may all this money is still in early access. They need to fix that shit. So it's, it's supposed to drop on, on Xbox people. sometime this year. Oh, on hopefully, Android. hopefully it's fixed. I mean, hopefully it works right on Xbox. You know. Yeah. No, it, it's it's going to drop an Xbox on early access. Like it's going to be on, on early access on Xbox. I seen something on a video where when Microsoft presented the game in a uh, what you call it, like when they tell you when it's coming out or whatnot in an ad, that they didn't say uh exclusive they said something else that made other people believe that it may come to the ps4 after i still, I still think it will at some point it's just you know blue hole and microsoft are working real close with each other and, and i think we might see something like the rise of tomb raider where we're going to see this game exclusive on xbox for you know at least a year plus you know it, it all depends on how long this in early access the playstation does not have an early access program so if the game is an early access, this, this like a We Happy Few. Look how long We Happy Few was an early access. Mm -hmm. I thought that, that was straight up Xbox exclusive, but the only reason it was Xbox exclusive was because it was an early access. It came out of early access and look, it's multi platform. Right. Yeah. So it's going to tell how long PUBG will be in early access. We'll see. Hopefully it does well for all games to do well. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no, and I want Fortnite to do good too because we need different types of games. And I feel like PUBG has just become a phenomenon right now. And I just think they just salty Something as hell. Like Something <laughs> like a phenomenon. Something like a phenomenon. They need to get over it, though. They <laughs> acting salty as hell. They're not the first uh, people that somebody got got their idea from another game. You got, got, get over it. Yeah, they <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do about it. Second yeah. opinion. You make a better game, the next person to make a better game leads the next person to make a better game. And we all get good games. So calm the fuck down. So, see, I think we're going to see a run on these type of games now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we're already like, all, all these games that are out. You know what? Uh, we got a battle royale mode now. Yeah, definitely. Final Fantasy 15. Look battle how much royale money. Mode. Look how much money is making. Definitely, bro. That's the only thing I don't like about when these games are like successful like that, because then everybody starts trying Market to get saturated. You know how saturated, dog. I hate that shit. I, I I just like things to be original, man. It's just like awesome. uh, this generation. A lot of people feel like op open world games were starting to get oversaturated. Yeah, it was way too many open world games. Yeah, there was middle of the road or like people were actually missing linear games yeah i was one, <laughs> i was one of them i was one of them man it was like it was such the like the big thing is like we got these new gaming systems more power it's gonna be big open world experiences and at first that was that was the shit but them open world games bro they became like so tiring man it was like it took forever to beat them and stuff and it was open world after open world game yeah, I got sick of that shit. And they start to get tired and repetitive. <coughs> Mafia 3. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They start to get tired and repetitive. Yeah, exactly. but Mafia 3's story was amazing. It's not like Just Cause 3 where it was just big for no reason. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to front. Like, I'm, Let me not speak I'm on sort this. of sick of big open world games, bro. Like, I am. I'm done. And sometimes, sometimes I'm like, you know what? I'm okay with a linear game right now. Hey, like getting something mixed in, getting more linear games mixed in because... It, it's, it's just way, it was it's just been way too many open world games this generation. You know what? I think Uncharted played it the safest, I believe, where they opened it up more, but it was still linear. Yeah. I, I can deal with something like that. I can deal yes. with that. Yeah, definitely. Like, look at what Evil Within Two is doing right now. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, I can deal with that all day. So let, let me ask y'all, man. We're gonna switch switch gears here for just a little bit. Let me ask y'all about the Atari box we're hearing it might be anywhere from 250 to 300 dollars you guys think this console has any type of market right now or you guys think that nintendo and microsoft sony's got this thing in such a chokehold that there's no room for atari to try to come in with this 300 dollars console and do anything excuse me 300 dollars it's supposed to be 250 to 300 dollars that's no. the that's the no. word right yeah. now i don't know about that no. that's no nah, i don't think so no. too no, it I'm has, sorry. It has no. to be games, man. That's what game uh, gamers like us. That's what we're looking for. What are you bringing to the table that Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony aren't? That's what we always do, no matter who's in the console space. What are you bringing that's different? If you just bring in a name, that ain't enough now. 
Atari box, as in these old ass Atari games? Or like no, no. My, unless I'm looking at this wrong, my understanding of this is a console that can play old style games and play current generational games. They really? Need, that would be dope, but they need to show us the exact like what yeah, games what current are games are we getting? The controller and because is it gonna is it gonna the graphics wise what's gonna look like what else is it gonna be able to do because now most of the consoles do more than just play games and, and this image have- that we're seeing of it if this is the actual image that's floating around everywhere that thing ugly oh no i hope they hope they if that if that's what it actually looks like. trash <laughs> mm. from yeah, from man. unless uh, my my interpretation of this is somewhere between a mid range PC and a, a, a SNES mini. <laughs> I, I, I don't know where this thing I just, is supposed to fall. I don't know if I'm down with all these retro remix consoles. I, I don't know if I miss them. I, I, I am. I mean, if you're a collector and if you want to buy them, buy them because I know them joints is selling. I ain't going to front Nintendo. Them joints. So, uh, <laughs> a quote from Gizmodo said, according to Mac, the Atari box will cost somewhere between two hundred fifty and three hundred. It'll run Linux and have an AMD process with Radeon graphics facilitating a more open PC like experience than standard set type uh boxes. Um uh, that sounds to me blah 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 blah. Uh probably launch in sometime fall in twenty eighteen. So they're saying uh a more open PC like experience than standard set top boxes. We'll see. I mean, we see what happened to um, what was the the uh, joints and what was it, Nvidia? Or something was trying to do, and them joints fell flat on their butts. It said the Atari box will launch with a large back catalog of publishers' classic games. So yeah, it's gonna be a, a bunch of old games on it. The collectors are getting, but it's also yeah. capable of running independent games they want to play, like Minecraft and Terraria. Well, I don't know what that is. Terraria. Uh, yeah. I yeah. Heard, I know there we go. Name. Yeah. Um, uh, we're looking at as far as games go, the machine will run the kind of games that a mid-range PC can do, but it won't run AAA games that require high-end PC performance. Oh well. Uh, yeah, that's a little know. too. That's a little too niche. I mean, I'm sure there'll be people that want to buy it or whatever. But uh, yeah, no, nah, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Sony, Microsoft, and you maybe Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if that's the card facts, I'm not buying. I mean, we had emulators for so long. I don't really need it. Uh, I don't. Right. Really yeah, not even just that. Most collectors are buy it, but the mass like people is not finna buy it like they did that SNS or the uh the regular Nintendo Mini. They are not gonna think, run out and buy it like that. I think the only company that can come in and try to squeeze its way in if they want to do a thing would be Sega. If Sega got the got their funds right and were able to do it, but not Atari. I I think Atari needs to be stuck with okay y'all remember the Atari 2600 and they be left at that i think this is unnecessary now if you, somehow you want to tell me that if y'all want to drop a dreamcast too i might be in on that i mean you you have to pull all your characters back from nintendo and and every other company who's letting you that's running sonic sonic manual what now you have to pull your, your characters back but i'll be in another dreamcast angle front because dreamcast was the most underrated you know it was dreamcast was ahead of its time that's why it died yeah, it was ahead of its time, and I think uh, that was like what around PS2 era, wasn't it? Uh, Dreamcast, no, Dreamcast was N64. Yeah. yeah. So it's what PS PS1. Yeah. PS1. PS1 and 64. Yeah, it was. You know, funny is somebody somebody yeah. posted a video on Twitter today when the uh, Dreamcast was launching, and everybody's talking about, oh my god, it's about the graphics, 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 graphics. Every person they interview was talking about graphics, but not but everybody says it's always been about the games. <laughs> Whoa, why you think they it went downhill, man? PS1, PS1 it had no great graphics, but it had a lot of games. These are facts. I ain't gonna front, man. PA man. I remember back in the day, man, watching my brothers play Madden and Resident Evil and Siphon Filter and all those games on PS1. Man, Resident Evil, the first Resident Evil ignited my love for PlayStation. Not even just that. Freaking, I think Dreamcast was like, most of the people that I knew who had Dreamcast was playing like, uh, was it 2K1 with Iverson on the cover? That's where yeah. like, that's where like it, it, it landed for the first time and people were like introduced to a, a different basketball game other than NBA Live. So. These are facts. So I mean, I, I don't plan on buying it. Maybe, maybe when it 
like uh, like in the chat. Maybe when it flops, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it when it, when, it, when I can get it for sixty dollars somewhere. But paying two hundred fifty to three hundred dollars for this, no. Nah. Wasn't that like some other people trying to make some boxes? Was it steam boxes and them joints just fell flat? Yeah, steam boxes failed. Cause it was too many of them. Like you gave people too many choices. Like people didn't want all those choices. Just but when it first came out, folks were over like, "This is what the Xbox should have been." Oh, steam machine, <laughs> and nobody bought it. Nah, <laughs> they ain't had no games. They may as well bring back the Ouya and stop playing. Bro, I forgot about the Ouya. <laughs> you know what? Nip said, Nip said that's the best console of all time. That's Man. Fun, but just uh, make it play older games off other consoles. That's all they did with it. It was like a, a streaming box. But if that Atari box uh runs the Ghostbusters video game, I might mess with it. Oh shit. That's an old ass game. The way this thing sounds, it should be ninety nine dollars. <laughs> it should if it was ninety nine, shit, it probably would fly. Exactly. And ninety nine dollars <laughs> this thing would, would be a monster. Right? Everybody would go out and buy it because they would look at it more like a SNES mini than a new console. That's how they would look at it. Yeah. And but it makes three, a lot more sense. But at $300, like I said in the chat, where you can go and get the Xbox One X for $200 more, or go get the PS4 Pro for $150 more, $100 more, get the PS, PS5 possibly dropping soon. You nah, go but you can go get that Slim, and it's going to probably be like $200. <laughs> you know what I'm so saying? Like, you got to really be like an old head, like Nintendo, I mean, uh, Atari like person to really go out and buy this, honestly. I won't yeah, see nobody, no, nobody, no, nobody no, in their no, no, no. nobody in the early twenties going out and get this. No, nah, I'm not. I ain't I ain't I ain't really feeling it. Now that that the mini and the you know, that's more of our kind of age range, the NES mini and the SENS. That's more us. But the uh, the Atari, that's a little bit before my time. <laughs> hey Nick, you still in the building, brother? I'm gonna ask him a question, but I'm not gonna ask him a question because he gone. Uh, so I do want to bring up the PlayStation Plus game. It seems like every since the PlayStation uh, Plus increase went up by like ten bucks, they've been better and better. It's like they, they've listened to people saying how horrible the games have been. And this month uh, they end up dropping um, Metal Gear Solid Five, The Phantom Pain, which is the headliner, and they dropped some other stuff as well. But that was pretty much the headliner. And then last month that was Infamous Second Son. It seemed to get better, whereas. The games for gold for Xbox this month, I ain't too sure about going home and, and some other stuff. I'm like, uh, do you guys think this is a, a reaction to them uh, just listening to their fans, or do you guys think this is just a coincidence that these games are going to drop anyway? It's probably a little bit of both on the call. It's probably a mixture of the both, but I'm not mad about it. I'll say, I'll say this. I kept telling people that you have to give the library time to build up. Because when they started PlayStation Plus, look how much of a library they already had to choose from. Many, many years of having a whole bunch of games in the catalog for them to be able to choose from. So I knew eventually they would start, you know what I'm saying, giving out great looking games back to back to back. But that wasn't like we wasn't getting some pretty good indie games too that would have never blown up. Exactly. We, we talked about this before. Game. We've talked about this. Oh, before. God. Here we go. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> in the games, the king has come back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and they even gave away uh for people who like VR uh, uh rigs. They gave that away for um free for the month too. And I heard that's a really good game. I still want to play that game. That's free Ooh. in the month of October, rigs. Nah, it's already um free. Oh, oh was yeah, that was, yeah, that was this month. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but they've been getting good. Like you got to look. They, we got uh Infamous Second Son, Assassin's Creed, Freedom Cry. Just mm -hmm. Cause 3, even though it's not a great game, it's AAA. Until Dawn, uh, we got Game of Thrones one month, Life is Strange one month, um, Abzu one month, Tales from the Borderlands one month. Um, Tearaway is a really good game. Yeah. Um, what, Transformers, Devastation. So these past few months, they've been giving out pretty good games. Yeah, right. Yeah, they have, actually. Yeah, they're stepping their game up. I'm not going to lie. They, they, I think it's, uh, they've been listening to the fans. I mean, honestly, since they are charging more, you know what I'm saying? They had to put up or shut up, I think, um, because, you know, the, the community wasn't going to stand for getting charged more and getting crappy games, quote unquote crappy games. You know what I'm saying? So I think they're past due on this, in my opinion, but I'm glad they finally stepping it up. 
because we already got going home a few um we, we already got that game we got uh but like we got games that i may that may, may not have tried if it wasn't for playstation plus like stories um, oh yeah, Story uh, Path of Destiny. Yeah. Did anybody? Nah, see, I bought stories. I bought yeah. stories before the, Nick bought, put me on that game when I it dropped. Too, yeah, that <laughs> game was fire, bro. I might would have never tried it if it wasn't PlayStation Plus. And then games like Fury is really mm, good. Yes. Um, yes. So they there have, are some great gems. indie gems. Even yeah. Outlast. Do you? Hey, think did anybody Outlast? touch uh, Strike Vector EX when it came out? Yeah, I, I played a little bit of it. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, so they always got those little gems like that, you know what I'm saying, which is is beautiful. It's perfect and stuff. Um, but, you know, I just felt like they really did um, lack on the triple uh, A's for quite some time. You know, even though I wasn't, like, complaining like that, but I did I did understand where people were coming from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I when I first know. heard, I think uh, they baiting y'all next, when that, when next, once next month hit, they pulling them, pulling it right back. Any game never heard of, that's probably going to be trash. Pop, boom, go play it. You think so? Yeah. Nah, I don't think so. They've been on a roll for the past couple months, man. So I think we're gonna be getting more. I if was looking at I was that's thinking. how Microsoft was with Xbox games to go. We was getting banger, 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 and then these last two months we're like, what the hell is this? What's the Xbox game? <laughs> but we may be getting you never know though. We may be getting a, a nice indie game. Like we, we've been getting gems. Yeah, so, facts. And the and the gems we've been getting are have been like games that haven't been out either. Like yeah, Fury wasn't out before it came on PlayStation Plus. Even Rocket League. Do you think Rocket League would have blew up if it wasn't free? No, nope, not like that. <laughs> not like that. The Xbox this month it was Gone Home. Uh, the Turing Test, which I've heard the Turing Test is actually a really good puzzle game, right? Yeah, I heard and uh, you get Rayman 3 HD and Medal of Honor Airborne. Nothing to really get excited about, honestly. Yeah, I think I think the last few months has been good though, man. Like. And then also you gotta realize too, PlayStation been giving away um some good first party games too. They're starting to get like some of those older first party games that came out in the beginning of the gen when I was wondering where they were at. I'm like, yo, they ain't they haven't showed their heads yet. Like it's about time. I think Infamous should be up there and it's some couple other ones like where kills on it. Like that one ain't yeah. been free and yeah. now see <laughs> last month last month Xbox was dope with that um with oxen free, I thought that was a good addition. Yeah, I think I think last month with Second Son was pretty good, and then you know what I'm saying Until Dawn and Just Cause was the month before, and the month before that it was Game of Thrones and Life is Strange, which y'all already said Game of Thrones was really good. Um, month before that was Abzu, Killer Floor, Killing Floor Two. So I'm I'm looking at the PlayStation Plus games right now, and they have gotten better. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't as excited at first about Metal Gear 5 coming, but uh, to be honest, I'm a Metal Gear super fan. Like, Kojima is my favorite uh, game developer, period. Why you wasn't excited then? What was the problem? Because I thought I'd done everything there was to do in Metal Gear 5. Like, I... Uh I've seen it all, but then I heard uh, Ocelot is playable, and so I'm down all over again. I think for people who didn't give the game a try, that it's not a bad triple a to have and it's a it's a really big game so so yeah, i'm stuff to do yeah, i'm gonna I'm download it i don't know if i get to it right away but i'm definitely down it's free it. shit i yeah. was how you i download it yeah, yeah, <laughs> as well no no problem and i might <laughs> nick actually try <laughs> nick can't play another game until he finished horizon except nick, for yeah. destiny 2 you get destiny i can't 2. play another triple a game until i Finish Horizon. Baby. I'm, I'm gonna head back to Horizon probably after I beat Watch Dogs three. I'm gonna head back and beat the game. Cause now I ain't see, how stop. is it? I'm supposed to be the quote unquote Xbox guy on the podcast, and I beat Horizon. And y'all ain't even got close. Because I put 160 mm. hours in Persona five. Y'all. Excuses, That's man. That's why. Look, I, I had to make a hard ride, decision though. on that one. No, I, I had to make a hard decision on that one. It was finish Horizon or finish Persona five, and I had to make. All right, a grown up decision. <laughs> Those are life choices, man. Nah. It is. You know, you know my story. You know my story. Uh, Near Automata totally took me away from anything Horizon related. That was so man. funny. Once I, once I picked oh, up, but Nier's not all, all that long. I picked that up. Once I picked that up, there was no putting it Y'all down. Y'all hear the variety of all the games, though? Like everybody said something different. Man, Cause we bought these games. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's yeah, right. I'm speaking of games. One of my most anticipated games of the year is about to drop in a few days, and that is Cuphead. Oh, no, South Park? 
all cooked it okay no no we're gonna get to south park south park is my game of the year but one of my mo- one of my more anticipated games is cuphead right what's up what's up with all this fake cuphead hype though oh fake boy Not, i'm just saying what's up with all the fake cuphead hype out here <laughs> no fake cuphead hype. number he, one he was on the fence about buying it number one supposed to be the king of andy oh, what's the king what? to a god he was on the fence what's the king to a god I'm on the fence about every. Listen, I'm on the fence about every yeah, game, guys. Every game. This is the guy. This is the guy that does not pre-order games. Like I'm very, very careful about what games I support. I need to play that. Very, game. Whether the indie or not, I'm very careful about what games I support, guys. That Cuphead, I thought. I'm a conscientious consumer. Lately. I thought Cuphead would be like your number one joint. No, it, the reason why because when it when we first saw it, it was just boss battles only. So I didn't really like that. That's why I was on the fence. But when they flushed like out, Fury. Though, because Fury is a beast of a game, though. Just the design. It's not just about being boss battle. I didn't want no pew, 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 boss battle only game. You know what I'm saying? So Fury is a beast. Fury is different. Fury is immaculate, okay? Um, but Cuphead, I didn't want just a boss battle pew, pew, pew type of game. You know what I'm saying? But they flushed it out, made it a platform, all that stuff. So now I'm like, okay, that's the type of game I like. Side-scrolling, platformer, boss battles. You know what I'm saying? So I can get down with it now, you know. So I'll be getting it. You know what I'm saying? But if we could convince them to have a boss rush mode in the game, I'll be down for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's that's a good option. But give me a complete game. You know, give me a complete platform, and that's what I want. So they let me let me go around and ask y'all. Number one, give me a medic metacritic prediction, and do you guys think it will be rated harshly because of its difficulty? um yeah so it, it definitely is going to lose some points because of the difficulty i feel i feel like um they'll be complaining about difficulty spikes you know these soft as journalists the things that they complain about um so i do see that getting some points knocked off but i, I think it'll be at a nice 80 on metacritic I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it's gonna be a nice little round 80 figure you know so I, I think it probably would deserve an 85, but like I said, you're gonna see a lot of people complain about the difficulty off top. You know, they don't make gamers the way they used to be, man. I mean, you know, there's there's some of us that do welcome, you know, difficult games, and we welcome the challenge and dying over and over again. Sure, we're gonna rage, sure we're gonna get upset and stuff, but you you're gonna be a better gamer for it. But people don't think like that anymore, man. People just want you to just make a game that's easy to where you can just you know run right through it you know have quote-unquote fun mindless fun and stuff so you know and like um no i like cronk be cron thoughts i'm about to say what you said before the cast cron you may want to say it for yourself so go right ahead um for me i think i'm gonna give it between an 85 to a 90. i'm a high i'm a high ball it since i have high hopes for the game um Uh, i do believe that some people are not going to like the difficulty. Um, some people like the. Some people are actually going to love the difficulty because I see that a lot of harder games actually are starting to get more popular, like with the Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, those types of games. Um, uh, was it? Uh, there's another one. It's a. It's a. It's a couple of like For Honor is hard. Um, it's a couple. It's a lot of games out here that are kind of hard, and um, have that difficulty to them. Um, but I, I do see some people saying, oh, this is too hard or people struggling and putting, oh. yeah, and people actually docking points because they're trash. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. You're docking points just because you're trash or that you, you, you know, Kotaku, it was a Kotaku with the journalist who couldn't figure out how to jump and dash at the same time. Oh, you know, it's getting a one out of 10 from bro. You know, oh, every, you're going to be whole one out of 10. Don't ask y'all a question. You think Jim Sterling going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> he trash too. He'll give it a one out of 10. No, that man, yo, when he gets mad at a game, he'll just give it a one out of 10. Just that, that that one the guy that gave, um, so new sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, man. Or send the one. Yeah, man. yes, yes, because he it was some, some type some type of glitch. It was where you were fame, I believe. Remember, you were going around circles and stuff. Um, in that area, you asked me, you know, how to get out of there, and you figured it out pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, and you know, it, yeah, it's right because he like his, was, his light went out, but then he got past the thing, but it was too late. So yeah, like, he kept dying from the yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. there's no way that should <laughs> like just from playing that part, it's not too many reasons that should have happened. <laughs> These freaking news, bro, they get paid yeah, to do this too. 
it's like I, I hope that they don't do that, but we're going to go up against a situation where they be like too much water. It's too hard. Like they did alien isolation like that. And I'm like, oh Yo, you're docking a game because it's too hard, but you're playing on hard mode. What? That's <laughs> absolutely no. Ne- never forget Gears of War. Too much A button. Too much A button, fam. Oh my god. Too much A button. Can y'all that hear was, me rolling was, my eyes right now? That was IGN. <laughs> IGN. But Dallas, what you think, man? Yeah, you got a score prediction, and do you think the difficulty will get the score knocked down? I think the difficulty may not get the score knocked down. Either way it goes, it's still going to have its own uh, fans. I mean, the aesthetic itself is original. Like, you got to love it just because of that. Stop crying about it. Just play on easy. Take that personal L and keep it moving. I'm hoping for, like, a personal a L. strong Damn. 90. for Like, I really am. Like, that's what I see. Yeah, they did. strong 90. They put a lot of effort into this game, man. They got a lot, you know, riding on it and stuff, so... I definitely hope it is a success. I mean, number one, I hope it's actually good. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, if it's trash, it's trash regardless. But I'm hoping it's good, hoping it lives up to these expectations and they actually, you know, make money off this thing. Yeah, thus far it looks like they're doing what you want to see developers do. And mm-hmm. if you want to see it keep happening, the game yes. needs to be a success. Exactly. Just like with Hellblade with Ninja Theory. Yes. Exactly. Oh, I love Hellblade. That's what but we want. Going from a game... Going for one of my most anticipated games to my most anticipated game, my game of the year. Mm, already. I kinda, ain't, I even played feel, it. ain't even played it yet. I kind of feel I kind of feel to. I kind of feel a little weird because apparently there was a trailer out that I didn't even see. And uh Nicodemus. What's happening? About Let's talk about the South Park fractured butthole trailer. Yeah, man. Making fun of Kanye West. Tell, tell the people about this trailer, bro. All right, so this trailer, man, basically. It's the new trailer. You guys can check it out. They have not taken it down yet on YouTube. Uh, but basically, it's making fun of Kanye West's idea for a video game, which basically was a homage to his mom. It's basically uh, this video game that never came to fruition and stuff that he was trying to make uh, about his mom uh, riding a horse or something to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So uh, South Park has a history of making fun of Kanye West. You With know what I'm saying? Is? Huh? With the fit. Yes, fish. yes, yes. So, <laughs> yeah. So in the new trailer, there's this fish with a gold chain and stuff. Obviously, it's Kanye West and stuff, and he's talking about you know um, going uh, to to see his mom or something like like that, asking, "Can you help me go see my mom and stuff?" And so they take him up in the sky, and there's this black fish, and the the black fish looks offensive. I'm not gonna lie, it's got these big old, <laughs> big old lips, bro. It's like a jigaboo. Bro, I'm serious. It, it's, it's offensive. <laughs> but he's, she's riding. She's riding a, a unicorn, oh, fam. She is riding a unicorn. This big, this black, the little black fish riding a unicorn and stuff. And he's like, he's like, Mama, he's Mama. You going to heaven? She's like, I sure is, baby. I sure is going to heaven and something like oh, that, right? And, and, and he's like, Oh, he's like, it's glorious and stuff like that. And she's like, I'll see you soon. He's like, What? What, what the fuck you mean? You gonna see me soon? What's this? And then the trailer goes off. So, like, uh. <laughs> So look, 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 look. They made fun of him. Yes, yes. Kind yes. of one of the games to, to tribute to his mom. Here's, yes. here's the thing about yes. South Park. I give South Park a pass for racism because mm-hmm. they are racist against everybody. Mm-hmm. They are equal opportunity racist. racist. That's why they get a pass. If there's anybody that I not only accept but encourage this type of behavior from, it's Matt Stone and Trey Parker. <laughs> you know but what? They, look, even look. Being racist, it's the fact that they're ta- they're bi- they're making fun of all of it. Everything. Yeah, like, you can't pick and choose what you they want them to, to roast. The, the stick of truth. They were killing Jews. Yes. yes. They were killing Jews. So let, let me say this. So people, they're they're mad about it, right? Oh, you buy it. They're they're angry. They're you angry. Xbox. You Xbox. You Xbox. Oh crap! How about now? You still on Xbox? Uh, I thought you was a Sony pony, sir. I'm gonna suggest you not ever say that in that voice again. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, the fact that they're doing they, that they're doing this, they put this in the game, and then they got the whole difficulty slider thing. It showed you the South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker don't give a. F about what yeah. anybody thinks. We're I, talking I, about the sequel to a game where in the first spoiler one in everybody <laughs> at the end of the game you played that whole level inside a man's asshole. This like, is facts. 
In what way are you offended at anything they do at this point? No, how? Yeah, how, I don't get really offended, man. Like they, they, the last. If you weren't offended by the last game, you shouldn't be offended by this one. Like when they made the hardest difficulty for black people, your your character was black. Like that's just funny. That's hilarious. That's funny. If for the people who are like, oh my god, why are they doing this, bro? How long has South Park made fun of everybody in everything, every race, creed, color? situation you should know that this is coming hello what up bot man damn sucks bro just leave out and come back in nick but yeah man like i don't get why people are so upset fame you already know what it is with south park yeah <laughs> Stick the truth when it came out to the game of the year fragile behold is my game of the year and like i it, said the fact that they go after every race there's a single race or a single subject in life, any any, they, uh, they any, any anybody can get it. <laughs> when Michael Jackson died, they they made a Michael Jackson and throw his face off. Like South Park doesn't care. Yeah. Mike like, check, Mike check. check, Mike check. Welcome back, welcome back, Tony. Yes, you know, I'm back. It is. They literally the last game. They literally made fun of Jesus. Yeah, the whole people, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Look, look man, that's all I'm making fun of Jesus. For years. Yes, so that's what I'm gonna say. Like, you can't get mad at this, man. You really can't. This is South Park, so you either turn it on or you turn it off. You know what I'm saying? There's no in between. Like, you can't be mad because you're making fun of a guy. Yeah, I'm sure it's it's sad and blah blah blah. But you literally, after all they have done. You cannot be mad because they're making fun of Kanye West and his dead mama. You can't. Well, South, you can't. You can't say, yes. "Oh, oh I enjoy South Park," but then pick or choose what you get mad about. Exactly. Because they make fun exactly. of everybody. Exactly. Yeah, they make fun of it. like no one is off guard. If you do something stupid, they're going to get an episode of South. Or if you die, like I'm, yo, know, I'm gonna, gonna make fun of you. They don't care. Before, be, I'm gonna say before 2018 ends, we're gonna get an episode about the NFL and Donald Trump. Watch what I tell you. I think they're gonna have they've to been getting on Donald somewhere. Trump for a while anyway. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get it. Like they talk so about if you don't like it, just don't watch it. They, they, it's, they it's always it talk about things that are going on right now, and that's why we always tune in because it's funny. They they make fun of all of our plights and all of our troubles. <laughs> They do it. The Simpsons do it too. And that's what you need in your life. Like if some if family guy somebody everybody. without a filter for a little while, like it's got to be them. Yeah. If you like, haven't played the stick of truth, you're missing out. Um, I, and I'm go pick it up. I mean, who's I, playing I, I, as the black guy? Who's playing as the black guy? Me? I am. All of, every been. character I create is black. <laughs> unless <laughs> unless there's an option mean, for something know. that's not even a, a human race at all, every character I create is black. Well, well, we know Nick. Don't have a reason to do it because we you know, know Nick will be playing on easy because his character look like him. <laughs> Yeah, if I want my character to look like me, I'm at to play on normal or easy. You're right. <laughs> if I want him to look like me. So, you know, is this one turn based as well? Uh yeah, turn based, yeah. uh, yeah. turn based a little closer to um strategy. You know what's yeah. so funny though? I, I'm I'm gonna say it like this and you can end it. It's so funny that even with me not even like really watching the trailer, I seen it but really didn't see it. Nick just explaining it sounds funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> that trailer is hilarious. I'm sorry, Kanye. I'm sorry, you, brother. You just That's explained funny. it. Made me chuckle a little bit. Like, so I know when I watch it, I'm a laugh. Watch <laughs> it. Tell you, it's funny. He said, "Grab my gay fin." I was like, "Oh my!" God. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you to heaven. I'm gonna take you to heaven. <laughs> I think it's October 17th. I've had my game pre-ordered and paid for for like a year because it kept getting delayed. For a year, I've had this game paid off. Yeah, damn. And it's finally gold. It's finally it's, coming out. It's a true Destiny, Destiny, I'm, I'm done. Destiny's still gonna be my everyday game. But when I'm not playing Destiny, I'm playing South Park until I beat it because that is my When's it game. Come out? When's it come out? October seventeenth. Oh uh, yeah, I'm I'm only playing Wolfenstein in October. Don't forget so, about. Don't sleep on that. Well, look, look, look. Oh yeah. Say what y'all want. But the game I'm looking forward to, the game that I'm really, really hoping ends up being what I hope it ends up being, is Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, I'm, mm, I get what about Assassin's Creed a long, long time ago. Long time started, ago. I started playing Assassin's Creed from the first one, and I stopped at Black Flag. I just couldn't take it after that. I couldn't mess with it. But um, with the changes that they're making, I'm hoping 
that this becomes one of those things where people wonder whether or not it's going to be good. It's borrowing system from systems from other games that they feel like is going to work for. I've been waiting for ancient Egypt as a setting, and I'm hoping we end up. That's with that's dope. Well. I, I do like that ancient Egypt type of setting. So yeah, I've been, you guys heard that? Uh, that's supposed to be like another uh, Assassin's Creed game. That's like it's like a no fight game, uh, no fighting in it or something like that. Probably like the old. It's like. Uh, it's supposed to be Assassin's Creed Origins, but it's like a a, a a a version of it where there's no fighting. Wait, what? Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. The passive one, like yeah, yeah. I did hear about that. It's supposed actually. to be a mode where there's no there's no fighting. Everything is is like you said, it's passive. Everything. The ultimate walking simulator. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I need to see this. I do need to see. Like, how do you take the assassin out of Assassin's Creed? Mm-hmm. Look, this might be exactly. a shallow reason for wanting this game, but it's also my reason for wanting a lot of different games. Man, I love games with black people. Like that's why I picked up Watch Dogs <laughs> Two. I picked up Watch Dogs Two Day One. I picked up Mafia Three. We all know why we wanted to play Mafia Three when it came out. Yeah, you're right. You oh no! Yeah, exactly. That's why I got a day one. That's why I got a day one, fam. When I saw you could do that, I was like, yes, gotta get it. I don't care what this game is about. I gotta kill some KKK. Yeah, you know so, it so, makes you so, feel so like you did. They call it the N word and they're stabbing the dude. Oh the my! You play thing. that game and you just start lighting up a whole bunch of them. It feels so satisfying. Yeah, it makes <laughs> you feel like you playing in a time to kill. All they need is like a Samuel L. Jackson DLC, and I'm buying it again. So oh, shit. Facts. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson DLC. Oh crap! Yeah. That might make me pick Let's it back up. Thing. Let's make that a thing today. And the games, the game story was amazing. It was just that repetitive. I uh, haven't finished it. The yeah, repetitive it was no, yeah, I, I didn't play the mission structure okay. was just the okay. same. I got I got more more. I'm telling you, all that, that story in the ending is amazing because you get certain endings depending on what you do. So it was a great game, but the actual gameplay aspects of how that was the problem. That yeah. was the problem. How yeah. the missions were, how the missions were structured, were were trash. And the glitches. Let's not forget the glitches. I didn't have any glitches. And I need oh, something. You, now, now, now you're not telling the truth anymore. Mm. Mm. No, I need something to make me a little less salty about not getting static in Injustice 2. Like, I, I don't care if we got Black Lightning. He means they nothing to me. Got Black Lightning. <laughs> like, you know, he's technically just a skin for Raiden. He means nothing to me. Like, static <laughs> should have been a skin for Raiden. And they knew we wanted him. They even had a character design for him, and they just said F static. And I, I can't mess with it. <laughs> But we getting hell, boy. So I won't trip too hard. So um, I'm gonna switch uh, part two. I think this is our last topic for today. And uh, let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. Uh, there, I don't know where this came from. I don't know why it's a topic, but a lot of people are under this notion that if L.A. Noir, which by the way cost, it's like a remaster, which by the way cost ten dollars more on the Switch than the PS4 and Xbox. Cost ten dollars more. Eat it up. They're gonna eat it people, up. People are saying that if this sells well, then we it's a good chance we get GTA five on the switch. Ten dollars more. Ten dollars more. And that's yeah, that's, that's the a same price. game for the that's same damn game. game. Yeah. And that's not the first mm-hmm. game. It's a lot of games that cost more on the switch. And that's just the price, that's just the price of buying on the switch. But do you see it running GTA five running the way you want it to? On the switch, hell hell. no, no, hell hell no, absolutely not. Okay, that brings me to my next question. You have to have a big memory card because the the base game would be on a cartridge, and the rest of it have to be will be you have to download the memory card. It's gonna take up all your special memory card. Ain't nobody really gonna be on the online. And that game fat as hell. Like G, overweight. When it comes to GTA Five, it could. It can barely do what it wanted to do on the PS3 and the 360. It had to. I think that game had to come to the new generation because you you could tell the huge difference yes. between PS4 and PS3. That and I really don't want to see GTA 5 get the Skyrim treatment. Every time something comes out, here goes GTA 5 for that system. Here goes GTA 5 for this new this Rockstar, new way of playing. Rockstar do. <laughs> they trying to get that bread, dog. Man. They, I think it's they got. Now, it's, now, it's, it's the highest selling game in U.S. history now. It is. People love man. They wait to man. GTA is just that game, man. I keep telling people. But what what do you guys think about this? If this is true, do you guys? I think Doom and Skyrim opened up uh, Pandora's box. Do you guys think if yeah. 
if somehow, somewhere, say, perform GTA Five, you guys think it'll hit switch? And if it does, everything might as well might as well come over there now. And at the same time, does this kind of take away from what Nintendo did? Did Nintendo like not want this type of stuff on this platform? Like, what well, isn't Nintendo like geared for kids? So you're gonna have, hey, you're gonna have these little kids playing GTA Five on a Nintendo Switch. Like, I always thought, yeah, I know Nintendo wanted third party support, but I always thought they wouldn't want certain type of games on that platform because of their aim towards kids. I don't think they do, but they have no choice yeah. now, man. Like exactly. they're, they're, they're joining, starting to gain a little bit of popularity, and all they really were missing was third party. Yeah, they had to bring some type of third party to the system. They're trying to make sure they have McDonald's money. But see, the thing about it is, though, how are those games going to run on that system? And that's the problem. I really like. I really have high hopes for Domo Switch, though. I kind of really want to see that make it. Well, see, I, I, I just think it's kind of funny how people are saying when with the whole Doom comparison, people are like, "Oh, it looks fine. It looks great." But had there been like an Xbox and PS4 comparison, you people would be killing it. I'm just saying, yeah. the yeah, game does right. not look good on the Switch. I'm sorry. Plus, it ain't it 30 frames per second? Yeah, it no. is. At 30 FPS, 30 frames per second, bro. That's blasphemy. It is. I'm sorry. I don't know why people make all these passes for the Switch, man. Like it's like it's the thing to do. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the reason why we we as gamers can't get nowhere, man. Because we always giving excuses. We always giving these developers a reason to screw us over, man. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't think GTA 5 is a good idea for the Switch, uh, but they'll probably do it. They're probably going to do it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's going to run like trash. And these, that online you know, is going to be garbage. These switchers, yeah. these switchers, you know, they're going to eat it up. You know, they're going to buy it. It's going to be a success. And they're going to put more trash on the Switch. I'm going to chill on the so. Switch until this Pokemon game come out. When that full-fledged Pokemon RPG comes out, I'm down. Until then, Switch can have it. This is what I'm saying, bro. When the Switch dropped an actual console Pokemon game, that's a day one for me. I'm going to be real with y'all. Mm -hmm. And that joint, whatever comes out that month, is DOA. Exactly. And that day, I'll go buy everything that I've been wondering about. I'll go buy uh, hey. Legend of Zelda. I'll go buy Pokemon Tournament. But my primary concern is Pokemon. And that's in the works, right? That Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That 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 joint gonna go. It's it's gonna it's gonna uh, kill pretty much everything that month. But um, I think that's Let's it, guys. Money. Let's get this money. I think that is it. I want to thank you guys for rocking with us. If you are listening on Pi, being on iTunes or watching us on the Tick Network channel, um, if you guys are watching us on TICGN.com, thank you for rocking with us. Don't forget the Patreon is in the link down below. Uh, Double XP After Dark Episode 1, I believe, is up for our Patreon subscribers. Uh, so thank you guys for that. We'll continue to roll that out to you guys. Uh, like I said, uh, shout out to my, my right-hand one man, Dirty Diana herself, Mama Cita. Um, I know she's going through a hard time right now, but uh, I know we, we in my opinion, this we are a family, and we, we dearly, dearly miss her, and we hope to have her back uh, whenever she's mentally 100% ready to go. And uh, we know you guys come to the show for Mama Cita. I'm going to keep it 100. Keep it 100. Keep it 100. We're going to start with these outros with my – my light skinned brother, Mr. Nicodemus X. Yeah, let's just be real though. The um, the guys come here from Mama Cita. The the females come here from me. So let's just keep oh, that one hundred oh. real quick, okay? Only female to watch this show is Crunk. She don't come what? here for you. <laughs> what? Oh <laughs> no! Oh, you better look at your demographics. Your statistics <laughs> a little bit closer, <laughs> sir. You know what I'm saying? You got some females out there. Trust me, I get fan mail from these females. I know. So you oh, know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Nick, dick pics don't count. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> what? It's, I don't think we're about to say that on the podcast, <laughs> sir. <laughs> if they trans, they don't count, Nick. Oh man, you you guys, I hate you guys. I hate everything y'all stand for, bro. I hate everything y'all stand for in life. You know what I'm saying? I hate everything about y'all. I, I hate the I hate the brown and the black on your skin. Okay. Yo, Nick, um, Nick think he's Ronnie <laughs> Mac. Uh, I hate my gums because they black. Because <laughs> they black. <laughs> <laughs> the back and forth with it because Nick. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> ass. Uh, oh, man, you guys, bro. We got we to gotta hang out again. We need to go to our cave, fam. I'm ready to go. Yeah, that's, man, that's, that's this weekend, ain't it? Nah, this it's weekend? not this weekend. Mm, it's not yeah, this it weekend. is. 
Yeah, it is. No, it's not. We didn't say this it was weekend. this weekend. This week, I said 29th. Really? Yeah, I said 29th. I'm, I'm not going to be... I'm not gonna be here this weekend though. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm glad your outro over. Mute. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Oh yeah, uh, Nicodemus, King of Indies. Uh, I'll be back creating more YouTube content for you guys. Make sure you guys you know sign up for the Patreon. You know what I'm saying? I think we are worth it. And uh, we out. Crown girl. What's happening? Yo, what's up, y'all? Um, thanks for coming through, man. Had an awesome show tonight. Um. Always lovely to get with the guys, man. And also my 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 lady, my love, uh, Mama Cita. Um, praying for her, sending all the kisses and hugs in the world. Uh, when she comes back, we all we all gonna, you know what I'm saying, kneel to her feet and be like, thank you for coming back. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, love her to death, man. Hope she come back when on her own good time and on. A, and while she gone, we gonna hold it down. Um, yeah, y'all can catch me on Twitter um, at Crunker711. Uh, make sure y'all look out for the podcast. Um, if you're into sports, um, podcast gonna be up this week and probably Saturday. Um, and the, my review for NBA Live should be up by the end of the week as well. That's what's up, Crunk. Get this money. The, the new uh, the new guest on the show today, fresh meat on the block, Dallas Downey Jr. Man, where can they <laughs> find you at, my brother? Oh uh, man, you can find me on Twitter at uh Dallas Man, spelled Dallas with a Z. Um, Instagram, same thing. Everything I have that's social media is Dallas Man, exactly the same way. I make it easy to find me, except for PSN, that's Dallas Man 214. Mm. All right, and like I said, you guys, wink wink, we'll be hearing a lot more of Dallas coming up fairly soon. Thank you guys for rocking with us once again. This has been episode 35 of the Double XP podcast. You guys have a great one. And I'm out. Yeah, hold up. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm talking about the band, though. I'm talking about the band, though. I'm playing. All right, we out, y'all. Now I'm talking about the music, man. All right, we out, man. Peace, peace. All right.